Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to talk about Perkins Generators Woodward L Series type actuator, all the pinouts and all the connection, and how to install the new one and how to understand about all the wiring connection. Before starting the video, I have a small request to all newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more late subject videos. So let's get started. This type of actuators most of coming in a Perkin generator from 60 kVA to 110 kVA and then to finally to 250 kVA okay now we are going to explain all about the connection how this actuator working and how to troubleshoot this actuator working or not and how to understand about the complete working principle and how to understand about the software first of all we need to understand about the connection this Perkins Woodward L series actuator have inside the IC chip need to be programmed with the help of special software of Woodward L series actuator with the model numbers and have a RS 232 transmit connector to connect with this uh, actuator give the supply negative and positive to actuator 12 volt or 24 volt to power up this actuator then connect your connector to software this L series actuator what is the software of this the software of this is required for to adjust uh, to synchronize the engine RPM with the, this actuator also frequency RPM and uh, voltage gain voltage drop low low idle running and rated running all our parameter you can set with the help of software right understand now this L series actuator have a connector which have 12 pins this is the connector front view as you can see here the picture of L series actuator this is the connector port sometimes these pins are empty sometimes this pins you need to connect for your work now let me explain the connection this number one is a power input to turning on this this actuator need a supply of power from the battery negative and positive to turning on first okay then control by the TPS or MPU sensor okay first of all you need to input uh, 12 volt or 24 volt this one is a MPU or throttle position sensor signal out three number is pulse switch modulation auxiliary four number RS 233 transmit auxis auxiliary input five numbers is input ground negative okay six number is rs232 input 
and this seven number is five full output for the sensors auxiliary input two relay driver output as you can see here auxiliary input two mpu positive input and finally ignition key switch input positive now let me show you how to wire this with the with the engine i already draw the diagram of the wiring connection as you can see here pin number 1 is directly connected to the battery positive as you can see here is a fuse 6 ampere then connected to the power input 24 volt or 12 volt okay your system voltage after that as you can see here two number is going to here you can see here volt meter and then volt, you can uh, uh, connect this with the volt meter and a series and then out and come back to splice with the joint with the pin 3 and pin number 3 is out going to MPU one side MPU have two output fires okay and after that as you can see here the four number is auxiliary out okay auxiliary input okay serial common this is for use for serial communication for programming okay and six number five number is going to or negative negative this is the power power input of one is a and five is a power input positive and negative okay after that the six is a is the communication connector r is 230 through auxiliary okay and then the seven is a as you can see here seven is a five volt output for the sensor eight is a auxiliary output as you can see positive ten number is auxiliary number two okay and 12 number is your ignition coil positive this is the complete wiring connection of this L series actuator uh, software and working now let's little bit uh, review on a working principle this actuator have like this type of L series hook this is your fuel injection pump throttle okay when your engine you cranking the engine the engine trying to start the MPU send the signal AC volt signal to the actuator IC the actuator IC turning on the fuel system and raise the fuel system when the engine is go, uh, going to start then go to to the rated set point of the fuel level okay when you put the load on the engine this is uh, uh, the engine frequency and rpm goes to drop this is this actuator accelerate the engine automatically through the mpu sensor this is working a uh, vice versa understand when the engine rpm is goes to drop this sending signal to the actuator actuator accelerate the throttle to increase the engine speed and power for the load if the in, you decreasing decreasing the uh, load on the engine this automatically uh, release the accelerator through the MPU signal then goes to rated RPM this is this actuator the purpose is of this is automatically 
एक्सलेट एंड डी एक्सलेट टू एंज एंड वेन लोड और अनलोड ओके एनदर थिंग इफ दिस इज द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस एनदर और यू और व्यू पॉजिबल काजेस पॉजिबल काजेस अबाउट द इंजन क्रिंग डज नॉट स्टार्ट चिक द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यूर इंजन क्रिंग बट डज नॉट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चिक ऑल द फ्यूल सिस्टम और मेक श्योर द आल फ्यूल सिस्टम इज ओके टू बी ओके एंड देन चिक द पावर सप्लाई है in a here input supply pin 5 in pin 1 negative and positive should be a good supply okay after that when you crank the engine check the npu signal out this two output wire of the npu check make sure it should be from 6 volt to 9 volt during cranking okay make sure your engine rpm should be crank uh, during cranking 250 or 220 rpm during cranking okay if your battery low engine slow turning over the mpu does not generate the some signal or ac voltage This is the small like a small generator. Okay. First of all, you, if you have a trouble, engine does not start, does not crank, fuel is lock out. This is the causes of the this actuator. Okay. First of all, you need to check the power supply between pin one and pin five. If you have getting a system voltage twelve volt or twenty four volt, it's okay. After that, you check the Uh, MPU out during the cranking should be four six two nine volt DC. When the engine is start, this goes to thirty six or forty volt DC. Okay, when the engine is running in a rated RPM like a fifteen hundred eighteen hundred RPM. Okay, this is the public shooting of this. If you getting the supply pin one and bit, uh, pin five between, okay voltage, okay DC voltage, and then you getting a a good output of uh, MPU, and then it's not working this thing. This need should be to replaced, okay, or faulty, because this have a small inside a small tiny programmable chip IC. When the IC is goes to faulty. then you need to be replace this actuator okay first of all you verify the all wiring connection and wiring supplies and then remove this actuator okay install the new one this have a upper top of four allen key bolts uh need to be 5 mm allen key and uh, uh, remove the top four screw uh, remove the from timing plate of the engine this does not come back come out without the uh, engine uh, timing plate removing the radiator and also all the timing covers and get pulleys when you remove the fuel pump then you can remove the fuel actuator in a parking series uh, engine if you have a parking phaser engine you easily remove this actuator without removing any fuel pump or timing plates okay this is the complete overview about on l series actuator so i hope to understand about this if you have further any type of question please comment right below in a comment section i will i will give you uh, as soon as possible very quickly Thanks for watching my videos. See you all next time and goodbye.